It's time for a bit of an update to the keyword research process because the Google AdWords keyword research tool has been replaced and also SEO Moz has now changed to Moz. They've updated their software as well and so the difficulty checker has also been updated and that means that our process has had to change somewhat. But let me show you today the new keyword planner in Google AdWords, the new keyword difficulty in Moz and we'll see how that affects our keyword research process. So we're starting off here in the Google AdWords Keyword Planner. That's accessible within AdWords if you go to Tools and Analytics, Keyword Planner. But because I'm not a daily AdWords user, I don't, uh, I, I've just got this saved as a bookmark. So what you want to do is just click on Search for Keyword and Add Group Ideas. And then we're going to type our search phrase into this box. So I'm going to type in conversion consultant. And you've got some filters and you can do your include and exclude down here, but really all you need to do is click that button. And it will may default to the ad group ideas. We want keyword ideas because we want specific numbers of searches for certain keywords. You can add your negative keywords to filter this list and stuff if you like. Now, the main change really as far as we're concerned for keyword research is that they only now show you exact searches per month. Um, that's absolutely fine because we were using exact searches per month anyway. So Conversion Consultant is very low traffic at around 20 searches per month now. These numbers do come from an average taken over the pre previous 12 months. So you do need to be careful that this isn't a term that's actually in decline. Fortunately, the tool gives you these little graph icons. If you hover over there, you can see, for example, search engine optimization has not really declined really over the year. But if you scroll down, you can see the, uh, the pattern over the year. Some terms may be seasonal, so you need to take that into account. But really, you're just checking that something isn't uh, old news, because you really don't want to be competing for that. So I've put Conversion Consultant here. It's got some uh, suggestions. Conversion Consulting is also low. So let me just take, I'll take this term and we'll see what happens. So I'm just going to copy that as before. And I'm going to go across to the Project Log Master. Now, first thing you've always got to do is make a copy of this. So I'm going to call this Project Log keyword research update. Of course you've got to be logged into Google in order to be able to copy that. If you don't, if you find you can't see file uh, make a copy, it, it'll be that you're not logged in. Now we used to have this keyword research tool where we could paste in all the values from Moz, from SEO Moz as was, all in one go. Unfortunately that doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that spreadsheet. You could still copy them all in one by one, but that's not much fun. So now we've got this KWR term. So we're going to use one sheet per keyword or phrase that we're looking for. So obviously what you need to do is you need to click duplicate. And this is going, and then I'm going to rename it. So it's a little bit laborious. Keyword research. And then I'll put paste in my term conversion consultant down there. So now let's go along to Moz and see what's changed there. So I'm logged into the keyword difficulty. I'm pasted in my term again, looking on Google United States, and I click check difficulty. Now you can see below, it's actually running the report kind of in the background, and then it's when it's done, it's going to add it to the list of reports that I can view. So we'll just wait for that to complete. Usually comes up very fast. There it is. So I'm just going to click view on that. Now it's showing me exact match volume from Bing this time, not from Google. Obviously, they uh, seems like they may have lost that data from Google. You've got an, your overall kind of graph there of the strength for that term. So scanning down there, I would say, oh, well, maybe the one at number six, conversionconsultant.com. There you've got an exact match phrase, uh, d domain there, and then 19 and 20 conversion breakthrough, maybe maybe there's some traffic to be had here, so 
Now I scroll down. Now, before in the old version of SEO Moz, you used to be able to just select all these numbers on the right hand side. You can't do that anymore now because they used to be two separate tables, one on the left and one on the right. That is no longer the case. Now what you have to do is select the numbers and all of this gubbins all the way to that number one up at the top left. Then I'm going to copy. Then I'm going to go along to my spreadsheet. And now I need to tape it, paste it in right under here where it says competition. So I'm just going to paste in all of that data that I've just grabbed from Moz. And here it's come through. So you can see that we've actually copied all of this stuff from the number one to the description, that's the maybe the page title, and the URL, and then all of this stuff. Now this is actually the data that we want, but it comes through in a funny format. So I've actually got some script running in the background to try and tidy this stuff up as much as possible. So here, for example, it says winning 2.31M for 2.31 million. So what the script does is it tidies that up for 2.31 million actually puts a number in. On occasion you will find that the page authority can come out as NA, not available, not known. So you may want to go through and maybe change those to zero, for example. You can hard code that in yourself. And obviously you need to put in your page authority. So if you've got a page authority of say 30 and a domain authority of 45, and of course we have to put in our traffic conversion consultant there, we go to AdWords, and that was just 20 searches per month, so not very good at all. Put that in that column. Column B you can ignore, that's just the space saving. So with such low traffic, obviously you're never going to get many terms, but let's just pretend this was a, a 1200 searches per month. So you can see now the keyword research tool is working pretty well. You've got this one at, at number six which of course we saw was conversionconsultant.com. So you could then use the domain authority boost option there to say, actually, I'm gonna give that a boost of 20 domain authority to uh, reflect the exact match domain. But that still says that, yes, there's three potential targets in here. So then what you can do after that, go back to the Google AdWords keyword planner, find another term if you want, come back to the project log master, make another copy of this um, particular sheet and do one copy of that for every keyword that, or phrase that you're wanting to explore. Obviously it is now a little bit more laborious than it used to be, but if you're looking for high value keywords it's still time well spent. So I hope you still find the, the process and the tools as useful as we can make them. If you've got any feedback, please do go on the forums and let me know. Thanks for your time.